Well, have you heard of the fat wallet syndrome? Well, it's not the rich man's problem, it is everybody's problem. It can be your problem as well. As the name goes, this problem has been induced by a fat wallet. By a fat wallet, we mean a wallet which is pretty much bursting at seams. Over the last few years, wallets have become bigger and fatter. Well, they contain not just money, but your credit cards and your debit cards and everything else. A lot of people, mostly men who are using these wallets, carry them at the back pockets. It might not feel like it, but the wallet creates an imbalance in the weight distribution in the pelvis and in the long term causes repeated stress to the piriformis muscle and sciatic nerve compression. Listen in to what this doctor found. Recently I saw a 30 year old person who came with pain and tingling sensation in the back of the buttocks, thigh and also the right leg. It was going up to the foot. And he had these symptoms for the last about three months. And before he came to me, he had already consulted other doctors and the MRI of the spine was normal because they thought that he is having a slip disc compressing the nerve. But that was not found. And then when I examined him, definitely he had a weakness in the back of the buttock muscles and also the thigh muscles. And then I was wondering what has caused this. So then on inquiry, he mentioned that he carries a thick wallet which he always keeps in the back pocket and during his office hour which is roughly about 10 hours he has been keeping the wallet there so the wallet has compressed the sciatic nerve which is located in the buttock region and that is the cause of his symptoms more prevalent in men fat wallet syndrome is it's also called the wallet sciatica the symptoms include pain down the back of the thigh calf and foot pain by walking up the stairs also Pain on sitting or driving, pins or needles on the leg, altered sensation in the leg, numbness in the foot and difficulty in walking. This condition became common trend in the 90s when it was first described by a researcher in New England Journal of Medicine in the year 1966 as credit cards were introduced for the first time. So what should one do to stay away from the fat wallet syndrome? To keep thick wallets, not to keep in the rear pocket, either keep in the front pocket or maybe they can keep it on the side in the desk or the drawer uh, when they have to sit for long duration like long drives or the long office hours. Doctors say that if it reaches the acute phase then anti-inflammatory drugs and muscle relaxants can help relieve the pain. In addition, physiotherapy is also prescribed. In some cases, one may actually need a surgery. Now that you're aware of the fat wallet syndrome, we hope you're going to declutter your wallet and avoid carrying it in the back pocket. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mode.